So the USA men's team, they were able to defeat Honduras. Um, this was a very difficult game to watch in the first half. And then obviously in the second half, the team was able to break through. I think a lot of fans have mixed feelings when it comes to this game. On one hand, we're happy to get the three points for the World Cup qualifier. However, on the other hand, it kind of keeps our coach. Um, and so a lot of people are a bit confused. However, I think that the consensus when it comes to the USA men's team's fans is the fact that Ricardo Pepe did really well. And I just want to show you what Landon Donovan had to say about his performance, as well as take a look at some of his cards on eBay and his rise in prices since that game. Hmm. What did you think of Pepe in particular, Landon? <laughs> well, I've watched him a lot this year. My, my associate head coach here at San Diego Loyal coached against him in USL League One two years ago. And so they, they are very high on him and they've been high on him for a long time uh, before he started playing games for FC Dallas. What I thought was interesting was that as the game wore on, he was, you know, somewhat effective early on, but you, I was anticipating him coming off the field at some point. I was just sort of waiting for the, the sub numbers to come up and see his number. And it's a credit to his fitness that he was able to, in his first qualifier, stay on the field and, and keep going. And then a credit to Greg's just keeping him on because he sees what everyone at FC Dallas sees, which is in a second, that guy can change the game and he's competitive. Forget about the goal scoring. He's competitive. He works hard. He like really grinds when he plays. And then when he gets a chance in the box, he's absolutely lethal. So the goal was fantastic. When I saw from behind the view from behind, it is not an easy finish at all. And, um, I don't want to be hyperbolic here or too dramatic, but like that's as big a goal for that team as as they've scored in a long time. And and there 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 are two types of international strikers in this way: a guy you play at home because you know when you play Jamaica at home next window first, uh, then you go away, but then you have Costa Rica at home in the third game. A guy who you know you're going to have a lot of the ball. A lot of service, a lot of chances. You play that guy because that guy can score goals. Um, but then there's a whole different type that you can play on the road and can also score. And Ricardo showed us that he's that type of guy. There wasn't, there's not been many of those. You know, McBride could go away and score. Josie could go away and create a play on his own and score. And that that is a totally different element. And when we talked about, you know, I thought, Josh Sargent might struggle a little bit in El Salvador. Josh Sargent at home is probably the right call with lots of chances in front of goal um, and maybe play him with Ricardo. Um, my opinion is Ricardo has to start now, but um, playing Josh Sargent at home in one of those games or PFOC in one of those games is great. So I want to go ahead and take a look at some of his prices for his rookie cards on eBay. Um, the first one sold for 165 200 uh, 300 20 600 uh, sixty dollars to twenty dollars each for the card, one sixty-five. So, in my opinion, these are a little bit high. I think they're a little bit overreactionary, and I think the prices will eventually come down. Uh, the reason being is because I'm looking at Pulisic cards, and um, I think that Pulisic is a little more certain in terms of what he's brought to the USA men's team and his legacy. He's pretty much the first guy who broke through and was the guy who was able to start bringing these Americans into the European market. So I think that he's more of a surefire thing. And the fact that um, Ricardo Pepe's cards are going for the same price as, um, or actually more than Christian Pulisic's cards, um, I think that's a little bit overreactionary at the moment. However, in the coming weeks, in, the more, in October, whenever there are more USA men's team games, for the qualifiers, I believe that we'll get a better look at Ricardo Pepe. Um, do I think that he has a lot of potential? Yes, I do. But I think as, as of the moment, Christian Pulisic is more undervalued and is a more sure, sur, surefire thing when it comes to his cards. But yeah, that's my opinion on his cards, guys. And uh, take it easy.